Hey, what's up everybody? It's Koopo. Today's mission is going to be called The Old Man, and it's the first main mission that you get going into the second chapter of the game. So, to get this, we have to finish the first chapter, so I'm going to go turn in my final quest to Sestak, and let's get this started. I've killed the Alps in Itan. So I have heard. It seems you are willing to fight against Zaykor. You did well, Jax. The cleric's attack has been pushed back. We are preparing our counterattack. Save your troops for the converters. We must secure the elix supply. I will see that is done. Why do they do it, Jax? Can't they see these attacks are hopeless? Emotions make animals of men. Don't try to understand them. I think the time is drawing near, Calix. I think the hybrid will soon take us to the next level of evolution. The hybrid sees all. The hybrid will be served. His is the future. But then you and Galax never were the squeamish sort. Killing those few soldiers took brute force. We'll need a more strategic approach to deal with the forces in Zaykor. That is true. But you have shown a measure of the skills that will be required if you are to achieve your goals. In terms of our alliance, I will ensure that our soldiers do not cause you any problems unless you show signs of reverting to your old allegiance to Zaykor. More than that, I cannot offer you right now. We can trade or offer advice for now. But our forces must remain ready to fight Zaykor. That is as I expected. You have done well. But you should be cautious in your plans. You are not strong enough to challenge an Alexator like Kallax. But I can tell you how to get closer to achieving your goal. One of my agents has reported that the rebel Alexator Zardom is hiding in northeastern Abessa. He has established a hidden base there while the Ice Palace is searching for him. As he too is now sought by the hybrid, perhaps he will help you. You should find him and tell him your purpose. I am sure he can advise you how to take on the Alexators without fighting your way through an army to do it. Although you will have to decide whether you can be trusted. An Alexator would never betray his own. His loyalty is only to himself. You will see that in time. Why have you left a former Alexator alive? If he hasn't joined you, couldn't he be a threat? I don't know what he is. He was a loyal Alexator, and yet he has run from Zaykor. That is why I sent you. Partly for your own business, but also to learn his intentions. So I'm the bait? Zardom is an outcast like you. But we don't know whether he still possesses his Elix abilities. He has shown no interest in joining us. Perhaps he will talk to you. Maybe you can discover what powers he still has, and how he intends to use them. And if he kills me, that won't be a great loss for you. You will benefit from talking to him, and we will know what we have to do, if he should ever stand against us. It's mutually convenient. Why should Zardom help me? We suspect Zardom plans to end his exile and return to Zaykor to lead the Owls. In his own way, he always was loyal to our people, but he doubts the hybrid. Zardom harks back to the days before the hybrid took over. He believes the Alves will evolve, that they are superior. He fears the hybrid has subverted those causes for his own ends. Put yourself into Zardom's service. Tell him that you want to fight the hybrid together. Your reputation will mean that he has to take notice of you. What is in the hybrid's mind? Surely the infallible must know of my survival. And yet here I am, living, breathing, in contradiction of the directive, the hybrid's will commands, 
all elix must be given to the hybrid. All loyalty, all duty must be to the hybrid. For the hybrid sees all. So, why has he permitted me to live? Am I still part of his plan? Or did he send me to die at the hands of my brother? Before the crash, I saw everything clearly. The hybrid's will answered everything. Now, I have only one route to answers. I must find Kallax. Okay. So that was pretty interesting stuff. And here we are in chapter two. Let's check out our quest. We have to go up here to talk to him. So you can enter through here. So we have to walk around. So let's get to it. <coughs> oh, why? Hey, wait, wait. I can feel traces of an Elix deposit. I want to check it out to see if I can learn anything from it. Where is this deposit? It's up on the high borderlands between Adam and Tavar. It feels like it will be big enough to allow me to learn more. Okay, so she wants to go find a deposit. We'll do that later. Can I just walk around this icy area? Looks like. Okay, so we're about to go on a big adventure. It's quite a walk. There's a lot of bad guys in the way. So this should be fun. Good thing I got the greatest bow of all time. Maybe the best bow in the game, I'm not sure. Let's see, I think we just follow this road like all the way up and around. Uh, up and to the right, okay. So nightshade. I think since we're in chapter 2, we might get some new mob types. something up there. A lot of dialogue coming ahead of us too. This should be a pretty power packed video full of lots of lore. Lots of dialogue. There's a reaver camp right here so do I have to fight? I think I can just run past if I stick to the left. I cleared that out of my other save file, so if you want to clear that out, it's some XP. You can get a flamethrower. And here's a teleporter. A prison for water. I think I want to go the old this world, way, they right? tortured and changed nature. Yep, let's head up north. All that technology, <clears throat> and yet they build such ugly buildings. Look at this area looks like I'm gonna kill all of this and then sleep and come back and see if these respawn. This might be like the ultimate farming spot. There's mobs all over here. And there's a huge troll up here. Let's see if he's still here. It's a new mob that I haven't seen before. Yeah, look at that. What's he called? It's like a special troll. Mountain troll. I think he drops a lot of ore. Yeah, sulfur nugget, gold nugget, and also iron ore, I believe. Yeah, and iron ore. It's 
kind of cool to see new mobs. I wonder if there's even more mobs in Chapter 3. So there's tons of mobs over here in this marsh. Like I said, I'm going to go clear all these out later and then sleep and see if they respawn. Be a great farming spot. What's this? Is this a new mob too? Chimera? I'm not sure if that's new. I don't think I've seen it though. Let's see, how close are we? Okay, just gotta keep going north. There's a whole bunch of mobs up there too. There's a hammer here. Yeah, here's not good. a not good at all. Kaylin's hammer. Let's see, how close am I? Uh, we're almost too far, actually. Well, how do I get up there? Uh, probably over here. Okay, we probably just fly up right here. Yep, there we go. Or we could have walked around. And I think she's gonna get triggered again. Somewhere around here. For more deposits. Okay, we got another teleporter. And our guy that we need to talk to is right up here. So, gonna be a lot of dialogue, but it's very interesting stuff. So, let's do it. Even great men fall when the power of Elix is taken from them. Zardom, once trusted advisor to the first Alexeter. And now here you are, out of Zaycor separated from the elix that gave you your powers i spent many weeks in fever haunted by visions as the elix that had sustained me slowly drained away but in the end i have been able to find a way to live with it despite the withdrawal Jax, i am all that i was but you commander your appearance tells me it's not going well for you has the transition to emotion to free thinking unsettled the great commander Jax? It's nothing I can't control. I don't have any reason to trust you. We are both renegades now. Cast out and hunted by our own people. We need to trust each other. Perhaps. My raider was shot down. Calix declared that I had failed my mission for the directive, and so must be executed. But I still live, and I am searching for the truth of what happened to me. I hope you can help me discover what that truth is. You want my help with that? And what exactly is it that you think I can do? Help me reach the Ice Palace. You know unauthorized access to the palace is impossible. Without the correct codes, you won't get past the first defensive wall. The automated defenses will kill you before you get close. 
then I will give you the access codes. From whom? Any Alb who identifies you as a renegade will attack you immediately. How will you get the access codes without fighting our own people? I will have to find another way to get the codes. That should be the last of your worries. You have other things to achieve first. However, the fact remains that you will need to lure soldiers from their positions in Zaykor. Soldiers who are sent into the lands of the free people rarely carry the codes to the inner areas of the Ice Palace. But then you know that better than I do, Commander. The security of the Ice Palace matters greatly to the Albs. What would make the troops leave Zaykor? The directive, the great plan, and the highest goal of all Albs. Elix must continue to be extracted. They will only leave their fortifications in great numbers if something interferes with the directive. And the only way I can think of to stop the flow of Elix into the Ice Palace is to destroy or deactivate the converters. That makes sense. I need weapons and a way to improve my fighting strength. Elix withdrawal has made both of us weak. You will need to spend your time and your strength wisely. The converters are heavily guarded. I would expect so. But the influence of the Albs is not as strong as it once was in the lands of the free people. Losses have been high, and the free people have become more organized, at least within their factions. Some converters have maintenance issues, or have been shut down, like the one in Edan. But none of that is helpful as long as enough Elix is still reaching the Ice Palace. Why were you exiled? You were an Alexiter, the highest rank and honor amongst our people, and yet you left Zaykor. Why? Tarek, the first Alexator, is following a course with the other Alexators that I cannot. His mind is clouded. He cannot see the bigger picture clearly anymore. And what is the bigger picture? You have spent enough time away from Zaykor. You must see the directive with different eyes now. But I put myself into exile so that I wouldn't have to discuss such things. Maybe one day the time to speak will come, but that is not today. I have found my place out here, and I will keep my peace. You cooperate with the free people? With some. They judge you for your deeds as an Alexator. They fear you. Yes. As I said, it was difficult at the beginning. There were some who recognized me. But I have kept my identity from most. I want to live in peace here. Tell me more about your past at the Ice Palace. I already told you. I have left that past behind me. You can't deceive me. You want to take power in the Ice Palace. What makes you believe that? The Separatist leader, Sestak, told me. So what is it that you want? Are you planning war against the hybrid? And you believe, Sestak? He didn't give me a reason to doubt his words. I trust him. And how am I supposed to wage war? One Alb against Zaykor? All I would gain is my own death. I have my new life here. That is what matters now. It's obvious that you are hiding something. You are more powerful than you appear. You speak of Elix withdrawal and the doubt that plagues you. But none of that fits your appearance, your confidence, or your character. So drop the lie. We both know the truth, Zardom. You didn't stop consuming Elix when you left Zaykor. You found yourself a source somewhere, and you have kept your strength. You can still cast magic. I'm not the one pretending to be something I'm not. Commander, what are you really doing out here, Zardom? And what is it that you want, Jax? We all must find our own path as this world changes. So you do want to challenge the hybrid? Challenge? You say that as if it's unthinkable for an Alm. for me. The time is coming. We are close to achieving our evolution. But our 
enemy is close to completing his work as well. Find Thorold. Discover his secrets. I must know what he intends before he dies. Not bad. You may have lived your life in thrall to that machine, but the Albs existed before the hybrid took control. When the Albs searched for an identity, it was the hybrid that gave it to them. He gave us all worth through war. Don't pretend you want peace, Sardom. That I won't believe. The hybrid's last orders to you were to kill Thorold the Pilgrim, leader of the Berserkers, yes? But did he tell you why he ordered that? And who should rule the Alps? You? It seems many in Zekar are beginning to question the hybrid's rule. But none have given me answers. None have said what the hybrid's plan is, or how they think they can better it. What is it we've fought for, Zardom? Don't you at least want to know that? While first Alexator Tarek follows blindly, I want answers. But I tell you, the hybrid won't give them to you. He only wants power for himself, and it will be the ruin of our people. Ruin? Why not victory? You know the directive requires all Elix must be delivered to the hybrid. He says he must reach the peak of evolution perfection to secure the future of our people. But. What will be left of our world at the end of this war for Elix? All Elix means exactly that. All the Elix on Magellan. But do you think that the hybrid will ever be satisfied? What will happen when it has consumed all the Elix on Magellan? What then, Jax? So you think the hybrid is lying? That it has a different goal for the directive? I don't question his goal. I question our place in it. Do you believe that when the hybrid evolves, the Albs will serve at his side? After it has kept the truth and power for so long, that its drive for Elix will just stop? No, Jax. After we have exploited the lands of the free people, the hybrid will only have one source of Elix left. Us. The first Alexator Tarek is too blinded by the hybrid's promises to see that. But I know. I know that once he is done with the rest of this world, the hybrid will extract the remaining Elix from us. He will feed his evolution. If you want war, then where is your army? You were revered in the Ice Palace. How many Alps still follow you? None. My soldiers stayed in Zekor. Such is the power of Elix. Such is the power of the hybrid. It takes those with will to see the truth. But I'm not without power. I do have a force that is loyal to me. I have the strength to return to Zekor, to strike at the hybrid. If it isn't in Zekor, then where are these soldiers? I have told you my aims. I have told you that I have the resources to achieve them. For now, I will concentrate on building resources here in the lands of the free people. If you will play your part in the struggle that is to come, then I will tell you this. There is a camp in the mountains between Idan, Abessa, and Tavar. The people there are independent and fight for their own cause. They are a force waiting for a leader. You should seek them out. Perhaps there you can find what I have, a base of operations. Perhaps then you will see what I mean more clearly. You claim you are doing this for the Alps, but then you're prepared to kill them for your own cause? It is a sacrifice that is painful to all. But the hybrid has blinded many of our brothers. There is no way to free all Albs. But with the blood of those who serve the hybrid, those lives will save others. But you will need to decide who you will back soon. The hybrid has sent a force of combat mechs and soldiers to advance inland into northern Abessa. This force must be stopped. Otherwise, they will tip the balance of power and Abessa in favor of the hybrid. So, will you admit that you have kept the powers Elix gives you? If you think I can acquire enough Elix to maintain my own strength, you are mistaken. Yes, I continue to consume Elix, pure Elix. But I have only enough to reduce the impact of withdrawal. 
If you are looking for magic outside Zaykor, then you will have to look to the Berserkers of Edan. Is Berserker magic as strong as the Elves' magic? Some of them are very effective. Their mana has allowed the magic of Edan to evolve a lot of power. I heard of a mage in the Dome City with the power to fight an Alexator. And as a Berserker living beyond the borders of Edan, she might have a more open ear than those living under Berserker law every day. How do you plan to attack Zekor? The only thing that would drive the hybrid soldiers from the Ice Palace is to stop the flow of Elix. The converter in Northern Abessa is strategically important. If we could shut it down, that would show the Albs the limits of the hybrid's power. It would give us a chance to persuade others of our cause. Are you allied with the free people? Our cause in defeating the hybrid matches theirs. But I will do nothing to endanger the future of the Albs. Each of the factions has their own motives which could prove dangerous to our people. I heard that the Duke of Tavar is constructing a bomb that is so destructive it could destroy a city. What we don't know is his target or how an outlaw has put together the technology capable of this. What if the Alexators and Zekor learn of your plans? Sooner or later, the Alexators track down every Alb outcast. The question is whether or not we can survive until we are strong enough to be able to defend ourselves. Do you think you have the strength to fight an Alexator? No, not at present. And you should know that an Alexator has been seen near the domed city. I think he has picked up your tracks. How do you know that? You've hardly been discreet. But he only has suspicions that you survived. He has no proof for now. I would suggest you take care of him before he learns you really are alive. If the Alexators were to discover that you live, then they would concentrate their powers against you. Now you know my thoughts. And it is time for you to tell me your plans. What is it that you want? I want the person who got me into this situation. I want Kallax. For what? Revenge? Your brother doesn't want anything to do with you. He sees you as a traitor. He will kill you the first chance he gets. He's my brother. We fought side by side our whole lives. He has to listen to me. And how will you get close enough to speak to him? He is protected by a whole unit of soldiers in combat mechs. I will find a way. Well, maybe I can help you, Jax. Support me in my cause, and I will make sure that you reach Kallax. You think you can do that? Yes. And you know I am your best option. I recommend that you take my offer. You will have my support, but you will have to deliver Kallax. Then help me achieve the things I need to turn the balance of power back in our favor. Help me shut down those converters and make the preparations you need to. Do that, and I will tell you how you can lure Kallax to you. For my part, I will order my forces to infiltrate Zekor. I want a better idea of what is happening in the Ice Palace and the readiness of its defense systems. I will see you back here once you have completed your tasks. All right, lots of dialogue, very interesting stuff. So this is the start of chapter two. So we got a few things to do before we start the next mission, but there we go. So as far as the old man is concerned, we finished that mission. So hope you guys enjoyed that and like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.